Hey YouTube, Model Train 9500. Um, this is, I guess you could call it part 6, although it's not really part 6 because I'm not teaching you anything. But um, as you can see, this is how it turned out when it was all done. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, at least, I don't know, I think it does. Looks pretty good, and it would go well with just about any road name. You could put BNSF next to it, and it would look nice. Norfolk Southern would be good. CSX, so it really fits all railroad categories. Um, it all, it's easy to make, quick to make, but it also looks pretty good, too. Um, so if you've seen the other videos, you'll know how to do that. I'm still looking for a title for this video series. Uh, right now it's uses for um, extruded foam, although I gotta change that and make something quick and short and easy. Might, I might change it to plaster cloth because there's some with plaster cloth because it was more about the plaster cloth and the terrain than it was the foam. So if any of you out there have an idea, let me know. But um, that's how it turned out. So if you want to see how I did that or you haven't seen it already or want to see it again, just uh look at videos one through five and you'll see just how I did that like I said it's cheap and easy and it looks pretty good when it's done too um, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did here on this side except it's gonna drop down into a lake under there and that'll be that I did a little more scenery over here using the same method eventually I'm gonna take over this whole area right there get rid of the desert look and uh, make it be more of this green here. Uh, let's see, layout update might as well do. Is first off, I went over the yard, like the this part, the blacktop, and I took that spackling putty and I filled in just about every bubble and little gap. You'll probably see in my other videos the blacktop didn't look that good because it uh, had a whole lot of bubbles in it, kind of like in in here, um, except for right there, there's a tiny little one. For the most part, I got rid of all those and repainted it. And also the yard, where the track is, I've done more of that. If you haven't seen my video on how to make the yard, uh, should be sure to check that out. But I took more spackling putty, covered up most of the gaps and holes, and then repainted it. So I think it looks a bit cleaner now. Uh, let's see here. I gotta put this truck right there like that. Let's have a little box car here. There's really no reason for that, except I don't have a coupler on the back. So I've got pretty much no other place to put it, except right there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I painted in there a little bit. Just painted those switches so they match a little bit better. I got the concrete up to about here, going down. And I still have bubbles to go over, and then I'll repaint it up here as well. As far as, uh, let's see, the yard goes up here, I'm sanding it down, and I'll fill in the gaps with putty there as well, and I think I'm going to paint it black. Uh, I'd like your opinion on that. If you guys think that'd be good, let me know, because I think that's what I'm planning to do. Um, so that's about it. Over there, there's still that. I don't know what to do with that, so if you have any feedback or information on that, what I should do there, that'd be great, because I don't know what to do about that. Um, let's see if there's anything else. I think that's about it. So, yeah, there's uh, how that all turned out. I found out that after doing the video, I discovered it's a lot easier if first, if you watch the other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. First, put down the hairspray, a lot of it too and then put the turf down, and then more hairspray, and then finally put scenic cement on. Uh, using the water, I think, does take out a lot of the color, and you don't want that. So, uh, yeah, use the hairspray, and then once it's all set, then use the scenic cement. But uh, that's it. So I'll let the train go by here, and that'll be it. If you have any requests for future videos, just send me an email, I'll see what I can do. Um, Otherwise, thank you for watching, and look for more videos in the future.